Steve, obviously, to be in the second round of the playoffs, it's where you want to be. I mean, just talk about the way your team has responded to injuries and responded to the loss to Hondo. It looks like they've handled it very well. Well, you know, our kids have really done a great job. Uh, I'm really excited about the way we've been playing the last few weeks. You know, obviously, you know, it was a tough loss against Homeville, but uh, kids have bounced back. Uh, you know, we reeled off six, seven in a row, and uh, it's, been, it's been a good second half of the year. Uh, we had a tough injuries with our number one, number two running backs getting hurt in the East St. John game, but our guys got us through, and, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get one more back this week, and, and uh, Kyle's done a good job for us. Our offensive line's been playing well, so we uh, been playing pretty good defense, so if we can run the football and play good defense, hopefully we can win a few games in the playoffs. Yeah, our blood's played better in the second half of the season. No doubt. He's, he's playing with more confidence. He's doing a good job for us. Uh, uh, made some great throws for us uh, Friday night against uh, Ash, and uh, hopefully he can continue to get better and, and make the throws we need to in the playoffs. Everybody's going to ask about Emory, and how is he, and is there any chance he can play this week? Well, there's a shot. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, his hand uh, went to the doctor last week, and they uh, weren't quite ready, and he's got another doctor's appointment Wednesday, so we'll see. You know, if he gets the okay Wednesday, obviously we'll uh, we'll make that to call then, but, uh, uh, you know, we'll have to wait and see what the doc says on Wednesday. A program at Barb that's used to being deep into the playoffs, been in the state championship not too long ago, 2012. Well-coached team and a very tough ball. Coach Contreras does a great job with that group. They, you know, they, they're real physical. They're big up front. Uh, 2,000 yard running backs that do a tremendous job. Quarterback does a great job managing the game. Uh, takes advantage of the little short passes, keeps the sticks moving. So they do a tremendous job offensively. Uh, uh, they're going to be tough to stop, and it's going to be a big task for our defense. Uh, defensively, they got one of the biggest guys in the middle, uh, with that nose guard. He does it cre creates a lot of havoc, and they and they run, I guess, a, a form of a three-three defense. But they actually play the guys in the in the A gap, so it, it kind of gets you a little bit hard. Something you hadn't seen, so they, they're making you run a little bit more to the outside. So he does a great job. Uh, they've had a great year so far. Their only loss was to Acadiana, so it's definitely going to be a form of a task on Friday night. Last but not least, you've been on the other side where you've been the top seed and been a favorite. This isn't a bad place to be where expectations maybe aren't as high statewide and you just kind of sneak up on people, right? Yeah, well, you know, it, 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 it's it's still, you know, it's Destra and High School. Expectations are always high here. But you know what? Our, our kids have really bought in and they've done a tremendous job at that second half of the year here. And, uh, you know, we just keep telling them, you know, I think in, in the 5A bracket, it's anybody's game. And, uh, and, and why can't it be us? And I think the kids really understand that. And they, they've been doing a great job practicing. And I hope that we can continue to win a couple of games. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much.